free to rest. <laughs> this quarter is a quest for rest and this week we are looking for rest from pain, suffering and sickness. A very big topic, I would say. I'm not expert at all in pain or suffering, sicknesses. I would humbly always step back and listen to someone who went through something or he's going through right now some difficult health challenges. However, the lesson claims that regardless if we are sick or not, suffering or not, we can be free to rest. How is that possible? Well, unfortunately, we don't have to look far to see and experience mis the misery of pain and suffering. COVID is just one small example that affected everyone in a certain way. And this is not just about physical health issues, but about emotional, psychological, and so on. Depression is serious. The lesson looks at two biblical stories to reflect on and to draw some points to help us find rest in such times. The first story is about a paralytic that is brought to Jesus. Yeah, and it can really move when I read how much the paralytic wanted rest. He broke through, he broke through a roof of a house for crying out loud. If this is not passion, if this is not faith, I don't know what then is. Also, if you think about it, he had passionate and determined friends too. But I would bet that it was him who inspired them. The symptoms sometimes could be devastating, could be hopeless, could be excru excruciatingly painful. What's interesting is that Jesus' focus when standing in front of the sick man fell on the root treatment needed at the moment forgiveness, peace of the soul, healing from within. <laughs> yeah, the paralytic had done something that he wasn't proud of, according to the book Desire of the Ages. His sinful life caused this sickness for his specific case. The problem was that most people believe that it is irreversible. There is no cure for these men, that there is no coming back for this sick man. On the contrary, Jesus demonstrates healing by facing the paralytic's guilt and facing his deep anxiety of separation from God. Guess what? Jesus had love for him. He had compassion and grace and forgiveness for him. Sometimes our aches and pains are symptoms and result of something deeper. And real healing addresses the root of the issue. This is why Jesus <laughs> said to the paralytic that he is forgiven. But sometimes pain is caused by something that just happened to us and there is no direct fault at all. But it's because we live in a world where that ruptured with God and unfortunately suffering and sickness <laughs> are the norm rather than the exception. Nevertheless, when we reach out of this realm of pain and sin and we let God's presence change the perspective, when we let Him bring hope, salvation and healing, even though the pain and suffering of this world, we can have rest, actually. The second part of the lesson looks at depression. And the author cites data from the World Health Organization and states that depression is the leading cause of disability worldwide and is a major contributor to the global burden of disease. What can we learn from, let's say, Elijah about that? Interesting. Elijah, he did not have a physical problem. He was crushed by a psychological and emotional attack. I would say, deep fear within, anxiety about his future, probably guilt, disbelief, and loss of faith in people around you, in, in the world at large, or as you mentioned, depression. He found, Elijah found his, his own medicine, or cure, we can call it, 
run away from it. It's too big of a monster to wrestle with it. Running wasn't working for him well. It was only exhausting him furthermore. And finally, he got tired. And here's my recommendation here. If you, if anybody feels like Elijah, I would say stop running. Take a quiet moment, don't rush. Take your time, regain some energy back and then change direction. What direction? Direction toward reconnect with God, hearing his quiet, non-intrusive voice. It all restores our inner psyche somehow and we find peace and we walk in rest. And I know facing God sometimes could be difficult, but it brings rest. It gives new energy. It is giving up my ego and giving, giving up my ways, but it isn't that the whole problem in the first place that we don't have rest. So there you go. You can be free to rest. Depression is often seen, often seen as weakness and we avoid talking about it and avoid facing it. But as we can see with Elijah, it can actually happen after a very high moment, after doing big and great things. It can happen suddenly or develop slowly. It's a tough experience and usually we do silly things trying to deal with it or to hide it. I love God's patience with Elijah, his care, how he fed him, how he <laughs> tried to reassure him, to be there around him. Elijah was exhausted. He had no desire to leave, but he was open for God and he actually walked the walk with him, even though <laughs> he hid in a cave. And this is where he was able to experience the still, quiet voice and find rest and restoration. The Rhythms of Rest is the theme for next week.